Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the World Government House of King David, Holy Covenant Constitutional Enforcer. This is a Republic Notice. The title of this Republic Notice is called New York Stop and Frisk Ruling and Its Implications. New York Stop and Frisk Recent Ruling and Its Implications. A judge, Shinlin, passed down the verdict that it was unconstitutional for the NYPD to target black males in stop and frisk type of guilty before proven innocent in the criminalization of just being black male and young. Now, the implications of this is not, is not uh, for one to get Stockholm Syndrome over. Because in truth, this should not have had a judge rulership since black men are the 15th Amendment and they already have non-consent as a whole amendment, non-consent to be governed by, in corporate doctrine, contractors, regardless of what uniform they wear. See, this is posse comitatus people that have been accepted to infringe on black folks. Okay, they're put on a blue uniform, but this is posse comitatus. But the fringe whites and the Tea Party and the gun toters just see it as a natural until you are messing with their so-called gun rights, which they really don't have under constitutionality because they're the public pretending they are the republic. Some of them pretend they don't know the difference or they pretend they can be both the public and the republic as if two animals can exist in the same space. They believe this because their white skin was used as debt vessels and promoted as the privileged ones. So they believe they can be both the public and the republic. Well, they can't. The republic does not mix with debt. The Republic is the Republic, and you cannot have both, and the Second Amendment is under the Republic, so it has nothing to do with the Public Tea Party, the majority of these white uh, uh, conservative gun toters have nothing to do with our Republic. They are simply squatters that was able to get away with it because Posse Comitatus was taken away in 1878, and therefore we then had the Ku Klux Klan stepping in and policing blacks, which is the same thing going on in New York with the Bloomberg regime today. He's practicing posse comitatus in a Klan style of uniforms. These are foreign entities. These are imported Italians. They are imported Irish. They have no constitutional amendments and they are stopping and frisking black males that have a constitutional amendment that is in the constitution, which means the black males are really the law. The law. But since there was nothing to enforce the Holy Covenant Constitution as far as the military might since the Posse Comitatus Act of 1878 uh, removed the forces from down south ensuring that the Constitutional Republic was upheld with the black people rights in it. It has been my rule, foreign rule, corporate rule, and anybody who wanted to rule back blacks could just kick them around like a tumbleweed and just get away with it. Blacks have been the tumbleweed and the, and the kicking ball of any and everybody who came to this country and anybody and everybody who wanted to kick them. So the implications of this is, is not something to get too excited over because this whole in corporate doctrine system has to be done away with or it has to be made known that it has no power over the Constitution, citizens whatsoever, whether a judge rule in their favor or not. Because this is a foreign judge, again, without any jurisdiction over blacks. These black men who she's supposed to be helping having a, have a 15th Amendment that supremes any judge in this nation right now. So it's, just kind, it's kind of an ass-backwards win, if you want to call it a win, it's kind of an ass backwards win, okay? And the fact that they have to, in
include Latinos really insults the whole 15th Amendment of the black male because Latinos don't have a constitutional amendment. And whenever blacks are always talking about black and Latinos, black and Latinos, black and Latinos, they're being tricked out of their constitutionality because they're being grouped with Latinos that don't have a constitutional amendment. Latinos are just like whites. They under in corporate doctrines. They just happen to be white, young, orange, brown, and many colors. But they're still under corporate doctrines. And so when you have to feel as though you have to include Latinos, then you're inviting further infringement on your constitutionality. Because, again, you're inviting the public, and you're saying this mystery Babylon public has as much constitutional rights as the black male, and that's not true. And this is why they're not respecting the black male now, because he refused to stand on the solidity of his constitution. He always feels as though he has to have a group and it doesn't matter if they're frisking, frisking Latinos. The black man job is to uphold his 15th Amendment and to push that and promote that. So you push the 15th Amendment, not no black and Latino. Now, what you can say, and we have to work and we have to learn the proper language and the words, because this is a propaganda war. This is a this is a, a, a war by words and propaganda and image. You have to change your image. You cannot say black and Latino because black and Latino means you are denouncing yourself as having a whole constitutional amendment and having constitutional supremacy because Latinos do not have that. Okay? You have to use the wording of constitutional minority. Constitutional minority. That constitution no minority must always be at the tip of your tongue. Or constitutional black minority and other constitutional minorities. Because you do have the leverage of other constitutional minorities. They're just not Latinos in general. Now black women have children by some Puerto Rican men. She also have children by some white men. She have children by Asian men. She have children by other Israelites, like Lauren Hill. She And so, therefore, you say black constitutional minority and other constitutional minorities. And then that way, you feel as though you got some kind of leverage of coverage that you're not isolated. Because you got an Ephraim family of constitutional minorities. So you say black constitutional minority and other constitutional minorities, which are really black mixtures, would be like Diana Ross children are mixed or, or, or other people who are born from the black woman but may not have a black father. They are constitutional minorities. Also, the other men that's with black women are considered constitutional minorities when, there are, when the black woman is with other men besides the Judah man. So the language must be learned because you got to train these people that you are in a conscious level of understanding that you hold this constitutionality and you hold the 15th Amendment. And therefore, you hold the jurisdiction. And therefore, it's not too much many judges can do jurisdictively wise. Now, they can use the whole public as an umbrella so they can trample and pretend authority because you didn't consent as black man and black woman and the other constitutional minorities. They're protected by non-consent jurisdiction, which means they didn't consent to be governed. So Bloomberg is on somebody else's land, on somebody else's birthright, on somebody else's wealth, and he got this, these other foreign entities practicing co posse comitatus against the constitutional citizens. And that's why they wanted to remove it in 1878. They wanted to remove posse comitatus against the public so they can, in turn, as the public, do a posse comitatus on the republic. And they have been doing that to trample and mob our wealth ever since the 1800s. So this stop and frisk and this criminalization of the blacks 
is the criminalization psychology reversed because they're the criminals stealing black people wealth. But they have to do a reverse psychology and they have to put them down to the nth degree of the minuscule level to keep the psychological game going because when the game is up, then you will be able to tell them, I know you're contractually destitute and you're on my wealth. You may have the fiat money in your hand, but I own everything you got by supreme contract. You have no contracts higher than mine. And your stopping and frisking is only your satanic father now is giving you the headway and covering you. But when the kingdom of David comes in, the power from your satanic father will be removed. And you will be stopped and frisked by your own kind. Because once Satan is removed, your own kind is going to turn on each other. Satan is the only thing that have kept you targeting us. But you have so much hate energy, it has to be directed somewhere. So um, that's, you know, my intake on that. Stop this black and Latinos, because you got Latinos shooting blacks just like whites. They don't consider themselves one with you. I don't care if they are stopped and frisked. You begin to understand the words constitutional black minority. See, because they want to tell you you're a minority, and they say minorities, and they generalize blacks, but blacks are not just a minority. They are constitutional supreme minority, which means they have a higher contract than the majority of people in America. Now, that is not just a minority. So you better, you better learn the language of propaganda, because it starts with the brain, and that's where the war begins. This is Mary Omni from the House King David Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. Shalom.